welcome back to the Citizen Channel. You're all staying safe and well. Our player rating showing a, another difficult uh, afternoon at Anfield, but at least we got away with a point, didn't we? I think that's what we'll have to look at it. Uh, of course, it's out of our hands now, uh, the league title. Other teams will have to drop points. We can stop Arsenal, but we can't, certainly can't stop Liverpool, and uh, we just about stopped them today. So we're going to have the player ratings. The game took place 10th of March 2024, 3.45pm kickoff, tw match day 28. So we've got 10 games yet, guys. Plenty of, plenty of time. And Simon Bukowski was in charge of the player ratings for the Manchester Evening News. Yeah, we do vary on one or two uh, guys, but not too much. Please uh, let me know your thoughts and your uh, ratings. Anything vastly different to what me and Simon come up with. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification, everything. City past, present and forever. Oh, it won't be much forever for me because after any more games like this, I'm, I was uh, the heart was beating 10 to the dozen towards the end of that one, I'll have to admit. Uh, I, I, don't, I struggle watching on telly. I'm better, I'm better in a crowd watching it. I, I do struggle watching it on a on a certainly on a dodgy screen stream that you expect to uh, fade out any time. Right, uh, yeah, so join me guys, let us know your comments, I'll give you a like, and if you can give this vlog a like and give City a like, don't give Liverpool a like, give City a like. You much appreciate it. Right, the ratings, Edison, yes. So I don't know how serious this is, do we really? Whether we're gonna miss a few games now. Um it could really that could really stymie our uh, league title ambitions that's for sure dealt a poor hand by Aki said Simon for the penalty but still could have done better yeah I'd have to agree with, with Simon there I, I, you know you know Edison's going to be rash but could he have perhaps gone down with his hands you know to save it rather than use his feet I probably would myself I mean I'm not, not going to compare myself to Edison but that's how I might have gone for it and he might have still give away a penalty but and was uh, was he going to actually score? Was he actually going to control it and put it in the net? But hey, it's, it is what it is. But obviously, Aki, Aki made the rick in the first place. Uh, good distribution, though. And he played. I thought he played really well before that. A couple of good saves from distance, held on to the ball in, in wet conditions. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, I would have to sort of partly blame him, I suppose. But, Say Aki gets all the blame. So I'm gonna give him a six. Yeah, I'm, I was gonna give him a six and a half, but I'll give Edison a six as well because I did think he uh, perhaps could have, could have timed or done a little bit better. But hey, there you go, Walker. Uh, Simon says stayed on the right side of Michael Oliver's officiating with some important tackles and used his pace. Well, yeah, he did okay at the back, uh, although he got caught out a couple of times, and that's because he was in the final third. Um, and Simon said, although not great in the final third, and he wasn't. He was absolute rubbish. He, he was over hitting crosses. Uh, it's just awful. Just stay at right back. That's, that's all I want Walker to do. I'm sorry, I don't want him ranging forward, especially against Liverpool. Let, let somebody else take that responsibility. You just make sure you're there to get back if we need you. So I would give him a six, I give him a six. Akanji picked ahead of Ruben Diaz, a bit of a shock that one. Played really well, said Simon, with some superb passes up the field and awareness to always leave a pass on. Yeah, I thought he did very well, Akanji, uh, in a, a game where we're under hell of a lot of pressure and I thought he was one of our better defenders. Uh, I don't particularly spot any mistakes, he seems to do the basics of what we expect from Akanji. We don't expect anything to Fantastic, and of course, he was reined in. He wasn't wandering too far forward. Simon's given him a seven. I give him a seven as well. John Stone just grabbed an important goal and stepped forward alongside Rodri. Said Simon. Even the pair weren't always in agreement. Yeah, I think they struggled today. I thought it was a, a good goal, but I think he faded. And I think like uh, Rodri, which we're going to talk talk about in a minute, it did go missing on occasions. Uh, Stones, um, but as I said, he got the goal. And, and considering the circumstances, he, he did enough. But of course, uh, I'm not too sure. Um, he, he, I think he'd be happy with that game. Seven from Simon. I won't disagree. I'm going to give him a seven as well. Aki, Simon said, given some issues by Bradley and Elliot and then a hospital pass for Edison to give away the penalty. Did better against Sally. Yeah, well... Yeah, one bad, bad mistake in a big, big game. And it was at a time of the game where we just got to keep cool, isn't it? And it sort of could have cost us uh, totally even a point, but uh, it didn't. Uh, but yes, he was half decent for the rest of the game, but you can't really overly forgive that error. Uh, a six from Simon, a six from me. Rodri, not as controlled or precise at Simon as we're used to. See, the City saw their hold over the game slip away from that. I just... I thought Rodri just wasn't good enough today in a big game. I don't think he, he stood up and took took responsibility for things, um, made mistakes, picked up a booking, which 
was probably understandable, probably needless at the time. I don't know what that's, that means as far as suspensions concerned. Someone, someone said it's not a big deal if he gets booked, he'll still be okay. But no, I, I just thought Rodri was, wasn't great today. So I was giving him a 6, I'd just give him a 5.5. I wasn't impressed with Rodgers today. Uh, De Bruyne spurned a few early chances, uh, said Simon, and despite the assist, wasn't able to find the right pass on too many occasions, no. He, he was angry at being taken off, but what, what exactly was he doing? I mean, you've got to leave perhaps KD beyond for the, for the potential, but uh, I, I think the fact that he brought Kovacic on sort of uh, didn't settle us down, but it, we, I think we looked a little bit less exposed when KDB went off. But... Um, yeah, he's has missed for me though. He's missed out in another big game. These are the sort of games we want him to step up, and he, he wasn't quite uh, at it for me. Six from Simon. Uh, I'd have to echo that. I'll give him a six as well. Bernardo, a terrific first half said Simon that saw him dictating play and orchestrating for City, only to lose his temper in the second half and start making rash calls. Yeah, silly. Just, just stay calm. I know you don't like Liverpool. They don't like you, but just, just stay calm. You could see him physically lose it. You could see him uh, just looking at the telly and lose it when, it, when he. he thought it was foul but uh, uh, at least he showed passion that's all we can say but I, I wasn't as infused with Bernardo in the first half as Simon perhaps but uh, he did okay Simon's so given him a 7 I've given him a 6.5 Alvarez yes well uh, gave Harlan an important outlet on the left with pace for counters I thought he started very very well Alvarez although didn't do enough with the ball said Simon and then he just lost it too many times. I mean, for a pep, pl- I mean, pep loves this guy. Uh, this was this was shocking from Alvarez today. He just gave it away too often. He just didn't know what to do with it. I thought, I thought he started really, really well. I was quite impressed. I thought, oh, well, it's a good decision to play Alvarez because I wouldn't have played him. And then all of a sudden, it just he didn't seem to do anything too much right for me. Unfortunately, uh, Simon's given him a five. I'd have to agree. I thought he was a lesser player on the pitch today. I've given him a five as well. Folden, Simon said Liverpool looked nervous whenever he ran at them. They did, but faded out the game before coming back in after the substitution. Yeah, it was it was a most likely, wasn't he? But not quite today. Almost. I mean, I know he hit the bar with. They said it was his hand. It looked more like his chest to me when it ricocheted off him. But anyway. It didn't go in, did it? So it didn't matter. But he was the most likely, but not quite today, Phil Ford. And Sam's giving him a seven. Yeah, I'm not going to go as high as that. I'll give him a 6.5. Harlan, well, Harlan did not have many sniffs, said Simon, at goal, yet still worked hard to cause problems, keeping Van Dyke occupied. I think I might have kept being able to keep Van Dyke occupied. Uh, well, not, not quite now, but perhaps 20 years ago I might have been able to. Uh, all right, 30 years, don't push it. Um... Yeah, I, I, I just thought it was a bit of a letdown today. Um, a big game for me. That he had one great chance where he left one on one on Van Dyke and he, he did everything right, but it was a pretty feeble shot, wasn't it? I, I wasn't as impressed with uh, Harland as Simon today. He's given a seven. I'll just give him a six for, for work rate, but it was, sometimes it was just like having 10 men on the pitch for me. And the substitutes, yeah, Ortega for Edison on 56 did make a number of good saves, said Simon. Yeah, I thought he did it under extreme circumstances, which is what they were. You don't expect to play in a big game like this. All right, you, might, you, know, you know what Edison's like. You might think you end up seeing some of the game. We get sent off or something like that. But uh, I thought he did very, very well. His distribution, a couple of... A couple of dinks didn't quite work and live, give Liverpool possession, but I thought under them these cir- circumstances, I thought he did very well. Simon's given a seven. I'd have to say seven as well. I thought, I thought as I say, just purely because of, of the circumstances of him coming on. Doku for Alvarez on 69. Some nice moves, says Simon. His best display for a while. Uh, he's given a seven. Yeah, at least he caused problems, and I, I think would it have made a difference if he started? No, because but I think he's more an impactful player, which is what he did, and he hit hit the unlucky to hit the post. Of course, it could have gone in, could have gone anywhere, but we were unlucky. So yeah, I thought it was okay. I wouldn't give him a seven. Sam's given him a seven. I'll give him a, a six point five. At least it gives Liverpool something to think about rather than just totally throw men at us and have uh, us on the back foot for the last twenty minutes of the game. Kovacic for De Bruyne helped to settle City and keep Liverpool at base at Sam. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought while KDB was on, I was angry. I was a bit disappointed he went off. But I think Kovacic gave us 
a little bit more control. I mean, there's still have plenty of chances, don't get me wrong, but we seem to do a little bit better with him in the middle uh, than when KDB was on. Um, he was on for over half an hour. Uh, no, he was on for less than half an hour, so I'm not going to score him based on that. But uh, Simon's given a seven, so he quite liked his contribution. Uh, yeah, I would have probably been 6.57 myself, but I, I say he was only on for... Uh, just under half an hour uh, with injury time almost almost uh, 30 minutes but uh, I'll, I'll leave that one uh, no one outstanding for Simons a few players got 7 out of 10 which so no one's significant and yeah there's nothing from City as to their man of the match I've not seen anything on their site before I've come on here uh, and my man I've got to, I'm just I'm going to I'm just going to give it all to you, just for the circumstances of the game and when he came on and what he had to do, we were under the cosh and he, I thought he performed admirably uh, once he came on uh, in very stressful conditions. So just on that point, I'll give it him. I'm not saying oh, he was possibly, you know, there's probably one or two of us uh, had a good game, but I'll give it all to you because of the circumstances. So there you go, guys. Let me know who your man of the match was. Did you have one? Uh, do you agree with the ratings? Any big differences? It's all opinions, isn't it? We can't. If we all thought the same, it'd be a very boring world. So let us know anyway, guys. Of course, uh, already out. Please check out my other vlogs, including I've got both part one and two of that tribute to Stan Balls now. Rest in peace. So have a look at that, guys, if you get a chance. Check out all my stuff, of course. And we will have to build up to Newcastle. Of course, we're playing them on Saturday in the FA Cup. So there is... Due out, I think it'll probably go out on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, City versus Newcastle, the FA Cup year. So I've recorded that today. I quite enjoyed doing that. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Uh, have a watch of that, guys, when that comes out this week. And, of course, probably on Thursday of this week, there will be the uh, preview of the game with the Pepsi 11. So we'll see, see what sort of team Pep's going to put out for the FA Cup, which, uh, you know, is, is this thing that we can still win. We can still win. We can still win the league, but with the FA Cup, uh, it's still in our hands. The league isn't simple as that and please check out my uh story of the game show as and when that appears it might be after it might be it might be on sun uh, sunday evening or it might be monday lunchtime uh just keep an eye out for that thanks for watching guys let me know your thoughts great to hear from you till we meet again i only have to ask one thing don't i please stay safe blues come on city bye for now mm -hmm.